Bakersfield, California, my home for the last five years. It isn't so bad if you don't mind the smell of the oil fields, the dust from the agriculture, the bone dry hot summers and the cold foggy winters. Other than that, most would say Bakersfield's just okay. Unless you have an aversion to air pollution. Bakersfield is situated at the southern end of the Central Valley, surrounded by mountains on three sides, virtually trapping all of the bad air from the more populated areas to the north. Despite these undesirable conditions, I have managed to find the beauty here. Being a landscape photographer for the last 30 years, I often see the beauty where many others don't. My eyesight has diminished over the years with age, but my vision for hidden beauty has grown. Almost as much as photography itself, I enjoy immersing myself in the preparation for the shoot. Getting the gear ready, studying the maps, researching the weather forecast. If the forecast is for clear and sunny, I will be making other plans. Landscape photographers are not inspired by fair weather, preferring the drama of a stormy sky instead. Arriving at my destination at least an hour before sunrise requires an early start. A quick photographer's breakfast of coffee with honey and a ripe banana and I'm ready to roll. I love this time of day. The sunrise, it's much like a spiritual experience for me. I feel the deepest connection with the landscape at this time of day. The layers of the land are revealed. The textures in the clouds, the saturation of colors, the warmer ambient hues, all working together to culminate in a rich, memorable experience. There are so many incredible places in California, yet one of my favorite spots is only an hour east of Bakersfield. I have done some of my best work along the Caliente Bodfish Road. This is my sanctuary. Over the years I have realized a common thread within my chosen craft. All the knowledge I've gained, all the equipment I have collected, all of the things that have contributed to my evolution. All of these things are secondary to one undeniable ingredient. If not for being there, none of my photographs would have ever materialized. Being there despite the constant tugging of responsibility, being there in spite of others' wishes, being there even when being there was not the most sensible thing. Other than self-satisfaction, I can't really say what all my precious snapshots are good for. I am quite certain, however, that they are deeply rewarding to my soul. And after all, someday, that is all that will be left of me.